Hello friends, welcome to Supreme Education. We are going to learn Converse of Pythagoras. First, I would like to tell you the meaning of Converse of any theorem. New statement that we get by interchanging the places of given as to prove and to prove as given is nothing but Converse of that given statement. The statement of Pythagoras theorem is in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of remaining two sides. Now here, statement of converse of Pythagoras theorem is in a triangle, if the square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining two sides, then the triangle is a right angle triangle. Means, in Pythagoras theorem, a right angle triangle is given. And here, in converse of Pythagoras theorem, we have to prove that triangle as right angle triangle. Also, in Pythagoras theorem, to prove is the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of remaining two sides. Now here, given is same. The square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of remaining two sides. Means, by interchanging the places of given as to prove and to prove as given, we'll get converse of Pythagoras theorem. Now this is statement of converse of Pythagoras theorem. We'll read it again. In a triangle, if the square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining two sides, then the triangle is a right angle triangle. Now, first we have to draw one proper diagram. Now, here we have to draw one triangle. This is our required triangle, that is triangle ABC. Now, what is given? To find out, we will read this statement again. The square of one side is equal to the sum of squares of the remaining two sides. Square of one side, that one side or four side will take as side AC. Therefore, AC square is equal to the sum of the squares of remaining two sides. Means AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. This is given. Means given will be in triangle ABC, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Now what is to prove? To prove is the statement or the part of the statement which comes after then. Then the triangle is a right angle triangle. Means we have to prove triangle ABC is right angle triangle. Means we have to prove angle ABC equal to 90 degree. Now here to prove is angle ABC equal to 90 degree. Now here we have taken angle ABC is equal to 90 degree. Why not angle A? Why not angle C? For that, we have to refer given. We have taken AC as the bigger side or the fourth side. AC as the fourth side. Therefore, we have to take angle opposite to AC and that is nothing but angle ABC. Therefore, we have to prove angle ABC equal to 90 degree. To prove this, we have to do one construction. We have to draw one more triangle that is triangle PQR such that AB is equal to PQ, BC equal to QR and angle PQR equal to 90 degree. Now here construction is draw triangle PQR such that AB is equal to PQ, BC is equal to QR and angle PQR equal to 90 degree. Draw triangle PQR such that AB is equal to PQ. BC is equal to QR and one more thing is taken here that is angle PQR is equal to 90 degree. Now we will move towards last and most important part of this whole process that is proof. Proof in triangle PQR angle Q equal to 90 degree. Hence triangle PQR is a right angle triangle. Now since triangle PQR is a right angle triangle, we can use Pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle PQR. Hence by using Pythagoras theorem in triangle PQR, we will get hypotenuse square means PR square is equal to sum of squares of remaining two sides. Means PR square equal to PQ square plus QR square. We will get PR square equal to PQ square plus QR square. This then will be Pythagoras theorem. Now since PQ is equal to AB, that is our construction, AB is equal to PQ. Hence we can replace AB by PQ or we can replace PQ square by AB square. We can replace PQ square by AB square. Also QR equal to BC, that is also construction, QR is equal to BC. Hence we can replace QR square by BC square, QR square by BC square, check it again. Replacing PQ square by AB square, 
and qr square by bc square will get pr square equal to ab square plus bc square reason will be construction now since we know ab square plus bc square equal to ac square that is our given ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square since we can replace ab square plus bc square by ac square reason will be given hence we will get pr square equal to ac square pr square equal to ac square now taking square roots on both sides we will get square root of pr square that is pr and square root of ac square that is ac hence we will get pr equal to ac now in triangle abc and triangle pqr we have ac equal to pr ac equal to pr we just proved this also ab equal to pq that is construction and bc equal to qr that is also construction hence all the three sides of triangle abc are congruent with corresponding three sides of triangle pqr hence by sss test that is side 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 test triangle abc is congruent to triangle pqr now since these two triangles are congruent with each other therefore their corresponding angles are also congruent but we want only one pair of corresponding angles that is angle abc and angle pqr Hence, angle ABC is congruent to angle PQR. Reason will be corresponding angles of congruent triangles. But angle PQR equal to 90 degree. Hence, angle ABC is also 90 degree. Hence, angle ABC equal to angle PQR equal to 90 degree. Hence, we have reached up to our target that is angle ABC equal to 90 degree. In this way, we have proved converse of Pythagoras theorem. Thank you.